Hey everybody. I hope you're having a great Friday afternoon. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little um, out of it today. I don't know. I'm ready for Friday, you know, sit down on the couch, watch some Olympics, eat takeout. I'm kind of out of, out of it today. I feel kind of foggy. Do you guys ever get that way? This is crooked and I don't like it. It always bothers me when it's crooked. Let's see. While we wait for everybody to get on, I'm going to kind of mess with the, the camera. Hello, ladies. Hello, everybody. Patricia, Jennifer, who else did I see on there? It's so hard. The comments go so fast. Gina, hi. Oh, I'm trying not to touch my camera. Oh, it's really crooked now. Okay, let's try one more time and then I won't mess with it anymore. Hi, Darlene and Nicole. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys are excited about the new celebration items. I um, have been holding some orders um, for a few days because we were waiting for the new celebration items. Um, and today, this morning, I got up and put in an order really fast. If you guys are interested in winning a prize, please share this post. I am going to see if I can share it. Um, over on my on my regular page Ugh, I don't ever know how to do this and I hate to make you guys sit and wait while I do this if if somebody would share it over to my pink buckaroo designs business page that would be awesome I'd really appreciate it I think that that works it's not giving me an option on my iPad and I don't want to make you guys sit there and wait but anyway <clears throat> I always give prizes well, I always, I started two weeks ago, started drawing names from everybody who shared the video um, and uh, giving prizes. So I have a couple of things to, to give this week for that. So I see we've got quite a few of you on there. Welcome, everybody. Thank you uh, for joining me on this Friday afternoon. Um, I'm going to show you three new products that are free. You can only get them for free um, during celebration. This is the new little brochure. I wouldn't really call it a catalog. It's like a trifold brochure. I linked it on my blog and I, I posted a link early this morning for you to look at um, of the three options. Uh, make sure you look at it. Um, don't think that the old things that we've been, well, old, the things that we've been picking for six weeks are gone because they're still available. These are just three more. For those of you crazy stamp ladies like me, you may already have all of them. You may have gotten everything you wanted. And you're like, I need some more free stuff. So Stamping Up is helping us out. They're giving us some more choices. So that's what my projects are going to be today. Um, if this is the first time that you've joined me for Facebook Live, I always type up a project sheet. Looks like this. It's two pages. It's over on my blog right now. Um, Pinkbuckaroo.com. It goes live. It's supposed to go live right when I go live. And you can download it and save it. And it has all the the products that I use as well as all the measurements and then on the back are just things that are coming up my next class um, the deadline is next week it's my Easter class I'm going to show you that in just a second um, and I've had quite a few people join my team this week um, you guys seem to be waiting till mid-February and you finally uh, made that leap and bought that that starter kit I promise you you will not be sorry so if you're interested in that um, take a look at that link there. Oh, the link isn't there. Well, if you go to uh, pinkbuckaroo.com and you click on join at the top, it'll give you a huge page of um, benefits for joining my team. I see some of my team on there. Hello, Heather, Denise, Robin. There are some of my sweet stampeders. Another thing on there, I've showed you guys this before. This is our all-star tutorial bundle. This is what you get for free when you spend $50 with me, when you put in a $50 Stampin' Up! order, either online or in person. And I printed it out this month because I really think it's hard to understand what's all in it. There are 12 tutorials every month from 12 different designers. And you can get it free with a purchase. Or you can subscribe, and February is the only month that you can subscribe because it goes for six months. You can only subscribe the first month, and when you subscribe, you get the six month for free. They're $15 each month. Um, and that's also a perk of joining my team. You get that for free every month, you, um, just for being on my downline. 
Okay, so I also was gonna tell you about that Easter class. I do wanna take a minute and show you one more time the little Easter class. Easter is coming quickly. I'm gonna ship these on March 1st. There are five projects. All of them are 3D Easter treats using this Hello Easter stamp set. I think this one's my favorite. Probably, probably because those are my favorite can Easter candy. I haven't opened them, probably because I've been eating Valentine candy. Um, and this, it, this set, this set is really beautiful. So if you're interested in this set, make sure that you go to my blog and look. Um, you get some free things if you buy it with the stamp set, or I can't remember now that it's been so long. I typed it up. Go, <laughs> go look, uh, pinkbuckroo.com. You'll see it at the bottom of all my posts, and you can get the details there. All right, so prizes. Let's do prizes from last week. Um, Raffle Copter, I have a prize in my blog. It draws the names, not me, okay? So don't get mad if it's not you. Um, this week I have two winners who I actually know. I have their addresses. Michelle is on my team, and Laurie, I think she's about to join my team. So congratulations, ladies. I will be sending you, Laurie, the fortune, fortunate to know you. Laurie, your name pops up a lot, doesn't it? Isn't that funny? Michelle Davis, Cozy Cottage, the hostess set. So I'll get these to you guys in the mail. Um, I'll pack them up as soon as we're done. Now, here are our people that shared the video last week. I had some ribbon shares. Patrice Goldenberg, I don't have your, e your mailing address, so please email me, erica at pinkbuckaroo.com, and give me your mailing address. Diane, I have your mailing address. Lisa Carter, I don't have yours. Sandy, I think I've got yours. And Anita, she lives in my neighborhood. My neighbors get are winning two weeks in a row. So Anita, she actually is my daughter's piano teacher and my other daughter's math tutor. So I know where she lives. <laughs> so Anita, I'll be bringing that over to you the next time I see you. So th those are the five, right? One, two, three, four, five people who won for sharing. Thank you for sharing my video. Um, you can share it anytime there on Facebook and that will enter you into the drawing. Now this week I decided not, we're not, I'm not going to give away stamp sets this week. I'm going to give away stamp and blends, four sets of them next week. So go over to the raffle copter and, and enter your name, your email address. Got to live in the United States. Um, and I will give away, I think I'll do two and two like that. So two people will win two sets of blends, okay? So go over there and enter. Sandy, yes, I do have your address. I thought so. All right. And then the sharing, if you share this week, I'm going to send out four of these glitter and clear epoxy shapes. They are on back order, but they're my favorite, and I have a ton of them on hand, and I've already ordered some more. So I'm going to send out four of these. I need to remember that I said four because I only pulled two, but I'm going to send four of these. So share, um, share the video so you could win that. See, there's my note every week to remember to share. Okay. 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 One more thing. And she's on here. Patricia DeSando sent me something in the mail. You guys, it is so shocking to me when some of, when some of you have sent me little treats in the mail, it just shocks me because I usually know what I'm getting in the mail. So I have to show you how cute this is. First, she made a little card. Isn't it cute? Um, and this wrapping, and look at that glittery um, clothespin. Hello, I need to find those. That's super cute. Um, but then, I mean, it's just like you guys know me. It's so cute. Look, I didn't even wanna mess up the wrapping because I wanted to show you guys. But look, look at these adorable socks. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I actually found a rug last night that was like this, this uh, buffalo check. So, Trisha, thank you so much. That was very thoughtful of you. I really appreciate um, your kindness. That, that really just made my whole week. So, thank you very much. Okay, okay. I think we're ready to stamp. I think we're ready. So, this week, let me make a space. This week, we're making three things, and I showed you sneak peek of this last week. I have been dying to show this. I am so excited about this silly card, um, but I think we're going to save this for last. It's actually pretty easy. All right, let's do this one first. So like I told you, there are three 
new options, but there's actually four new products. So the first one here is a Springtime Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. And if you watched my video, hold on, I gotta get something out from under this cord that's gonna shake the foam. If you watched my video on that day that I got all of this, you, I um, showed you guys this beautiful paper, and I looked it up. It is rose gold. It says in the description, rose gold. Um, so I, I'm taking this as a, a sneak peek, stamping up. I predict in my crystal ball that we're going to have rose gold things in the catalog next, the next annual catalog. So anyway, there, um, it's heavy. It's like cardstock. It, I would not say it's paper. It's definitely cardstock. There's four patterns, three. Um, sheets each there's this little flower that we're going to use the polka dot this um little silver and gold and the silver i think i bet that this is the most popular of the three new sets so this is free with a 50 dollars purchase um it is 12 by 12 i don't know if i told you that i have made a couple of other things and i thought i had something else but maybe not i made a couple of other things um to show you and these are actually cases straight from the little brochure um, sometimes guys when you feel like you can't create something original open your catalog and just start making those projects they Stampin' Up has the world's best paper crafters on um, staff to make these beautiful projects so we don't really need to invent the the wheel you can go in and just case and that's what I did and you know stuff does not photograph well um, you can't ever really tell what it looks like until you make it. This one especially. This is what we're going to do today. You can see that this paper is not pink, but we're going to make it pink, okay? All right, so this little box um, is something that I've made before. It's been a while. Um, inside, it opens like this. Inside are just two um, little Twix bars. Uh, the Ghirardelli squares fit in here also. So this little box, I, I think I've called it a pillow box before. I can't remember um, what, the, what the deal was, but I went back and watched my own video on this from a couple of years ago to remember how to make it. All right, so let me look at my notes. We need a piece of this beautiful paper that measures five and a half by seven. And we're gonna score. I didn't even mention this. You guys know the drill if you watch me every week, but if you don't, you can get all three of these make and takes for free. Yes, I send them in the mail. This is what they look like. They come all packed and cute. Okay, you can get them in the mail for free with a $30 order between now and Monday night. Okay, just make sure you use a hostess code. I've got a new hostess code this week. Um, okay, back to what I was saying. I told you I'm foggy today. All right, so five and a half on the five and a half inch side, we're gonna score at three fourths, one and a half, four, and four and three fourths. Now don't worry, don't write this down. Just go over to my blog and print off this sheet because that's where I'm getting the measurements, straight off this sheet. It's right there under the third picture on today's blog post. And then two and three eighths and four and five eighths. Right there. All right. Now the last time I did this, and maybe I will pull it, but I don't see it. Last time I used our corner rounder on this, but we don't have a corner rounder anymore. Well, that's not it. So I'm not going to use the corner rounder. If you have a corner rounder, you can use a corner rounder on on these. Okay. So suddenly I'm thinking, what do I do? Okay. So I'm telling you guys, I am out of it today. All right, so we're gonna cut on the short side. We're gonna cut up like this. And let me make sure I'm doing this right. We're gonna cut off the outside ones. That, am I doing it right? Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, that's right. Okay, so cut up and then cut up and over. So you're actually cutting all four corners out. So cut off the, the corner piece, the corner rectangle, and then cut up on this one. It's hard to see in this light where that score line is. There we go. So up, and then up and over.
Oh, hi. Trisha, your baby's watching. That's cute. Yeah, I know. I'm mesmerized by that paper, too. All right, so do you see how I cut those? It looks kind of weird, right? All right, so we're going to fold all this in. Burnish all your lines. If you have your bone folder handy, use that. I never have mine handy. can never remember. Now, we're going to put adhesive on this side of these skinny little legs. You know, I have two fast fuses, and one of them... It's just giving me problems. So we're gonna use the other one today. All right, fold in. Okay, see how I'm doing that? Fold in, push those together, and then that's gonna go like that. And you know what? I just realized that that I should not have put a put and should not have put adhesive on that. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cover that up. This is how this is what happens. I did this earlier today, I put adhesive in the wrong place. When you do that, just stick a piece of paper to it. There, all right, now, now I'll do it right over here. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do on both sides. You're gonna put adhesive on that side, but only on one of them, and it doesn't matter which one, because you're gonna fold that one in first, and then fold that one, because we want it to open like that. Now, I do need my bone folder, because I wanna curl these right here. Not curl, but kind of, roll them. See how I'm kind of rolling them so that they will fold over kind of rounded. All right, so you put your candy in and you just close them over like that. All right, that's the box. That's it. And they these go really fast. I don't know if Lisa, my friend Lisa, if she's on here, she made a bunch of these one year. I can't remember what holiday she made them for and she said they were a snap. They she did them really quickly. All right, so I'm going to keep it closed with this beautiful ribbon. This is the Berry Burst Metallic Edged Ribbon. It ties so nicely. Pull those legs. Well, that didn't work. Hold that center, and you can pull those legs to make the loops a little bit smaller. And then cut those little legs. I don't know why I call them legs. Those ends at an angle. All right, so there's the box. Now... I told you we were gonna make this, one of these flowers, we're gonna make it pink. And we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends because the Stampin' Blends will color really nicely on this. And you can really use any flower you want. Um, they're not all the same and they don't repeat very much. So I'm gonna pick a small one for time's sake. If I could just make a decision. Let's see, I'll use this one right here. And I'm gonna go over it with the light. Um, goodness, that, that um, Glare is awful. And the light is very light. I'm having a hard time seeing it because of the shininess of the paper. Now I'm gonna use my dark. These are pink pirouette Stampin' Blends. And I'm gonna color on the inside of these petals with a darker color. I'm sorry if you can hear that squeaky noise. That is like nails on a chalkboard to some people. How many of you have Stampin' Blends? Give me some little thumbs up or hearts to tell me if you have started collecting the Stampin' Blends. They are so fun. Um, they are our alcohol-based marker. Oh yeah, I'm seeing lots and lots of hearts. And they're very affordable. Um, they're $4.50 each. Um, if you compare that to other alcohol markers, it's very affordable. Um, they make anybody look like an artist. They, you know, they don't leave those lines like a regular marker would when you color it. And they just are really easy to use. So I highly recommend that you give them a try. You can buy just one for $4.50 or you can get the light and the dark for $9 and give it a try. Um, if you have not seen online, see how I'm using my fine tip scissors? to cut around this, by the way. This is called fussy cutting. Um, if you have not looked around online to see what people are doing with Stampin' Blends, I'm seeing some really cool things, um, not just coloring stamps, but coloring other things like, like designer series paper or coloring uh, sequins to make them a different color or the pearls or the doilies or ribbon. Uh, it is really fascinating to me to see what all you can do with an alcohol-based marker. Because it's alcohol, it dries fast. 
and uh, it seems to work on lots of different surfaces. All right, so there's that flower, and I'm going to actually attach it to the center of that bow with a couple of glue dots. Did you notice I used a different pattern this time? On this one I used the flowers, and this one I used the polka dot, because then I started thinking that if I used the flower, and I'm gonna send you guys these make and takes, I may not have enough to cut out the flower or two. <laughs> so if you get this make and take, you'll get one of these patterns. I'm not sure which one. I, it depends on how many of you order. I did order quite a bit of the paper this morning. All right, so the stamp that I'm using is called Petal Palette. Let's see if I can get it without shaking the camera. Um, this is a two, um, two box stamp set because it has so many stamps. And you know, during celebration when you buy the starter kit, you get to add on two extra stamp sets of your choice. And I always say, go for the really expensive ones, the, one that, the ones that you haven't let yourself buy because you thought that they were too expensive. And this is one of those, and it has a lot of stamps. So that's one of the things you could choose as your free choice. And the font and the sentiments are great. And look, you could use your blends too. Or you could just stamp it um, on a you know solid color. So anyway, that's the stamp set that I'm using. I stamped it in soft suede. And I'm just gonna put a, a, a dimensional, and I'm gonna slide it under there and attach it to the box. When I slid that off, did you notice that that's attached there like that? All right, now the last thing that I did was I felt like it needed a little something else. So I cut out a little heart. This heart is from the apron set that we used a couple weeks ago, the Apron Builder. And I cut it out of Berry Burst cardstock. And I'm just gonna put it on there and then go over with my Wink of Stella to make it kind of shiny and match that other paper. And there you have it. I think these would be beautiful shower, you know, if you're having a bridal shower um, or a baby shower or a wedding table favor. I don't know. They're just elegant and pretty. I really like them. All right. I hope you guys like that project. It looks neat with the two different flowers. Oh, I love when you guys give me hearts. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. That was the first thing I made when I got all those new products, those um, celebration products. Okay. Let's see. Let me clean my space. Ugh, and I swear this is the last time I'm going to shake that tape, that uh, cord that's holding my camera. All right, let me grab a sip. Hello, everybody. I haven't really been reading the comments. I was not much of a color, Nicole. I know, I'm telling you. The blends, if you're not a colorer, if you don't like to color, the blends will kind of change your mind. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. If my mom is watching on here, she can testify that she tried to get me to color as a child because she is a professional artist, so of course her kids would color, and we, we wouldn't have anything to do with it. And I have never liked to color until these blends, and now I am on board. Okay, second project features this stamp set called Eclectic Expressions. This is kind of a textured um, stamp set that you could use to make um, backgrounds um, and, and just give your paper a little more texture uh, look to it. It is free with a $50 purchase. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. Again, these are straight cases from the catalog. And I thought I wanted to have some samples to show you and I just didn't have time to sit and recreate the wheel. So look at these beautiful pictures. I think that this one looks like the moon. Don't you? Don't you think that looks like the moon? Look at that. They punch that happy in all the different colors. So cute. And I think maybe this is my favorite because it's Melon Mambo. And I made another one on that video that day and I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, so we're going to make a box. You can see it has moons stamped all over it or polka dots, whichever one you want to you want to call it. All right, so we're going to start with, let me look at my notes. Remember, it's right here on this paper, everything that you need to know. So don't feel like you have to frantically write it all down. All right, you're gonna need a piece of Flirty Flamingo that is seven by nine. We're gonna score this at two, four, six, and eight. That's easy to remember. And then we're gonna score the short side just at two inches. And before I do anything with it, 
I need to stamp it. So I'm gonna get that cute little polka dot, the distressed polka dot. It's not a solid, it's kind of distressed. And I'm just going to stamp polka dots all over it in Flirty Flamingo. Flirty Flamingo is an in color. And I'm gonna cry a river when it goes away. I believe it's going away this year, right, you guys? Yeah. At, when the new catalog comes out in June, this color will be gone. In colors only last two years. And this is one of those in colors that I love. Uh-oh, I'm frozen. <gasps> Uh-oh. Are you guys seeing me? I look frozen. Oh, no, you're there, I think. It's way behind. Okay, no, okay, there. Who I was suddenly frozen. I don't know what to do when I freeze up. All right, so let's burnish those lines. And we're going to cut off this skinny rectangle on the end. Okay, so get rid of that one. You see, that was just that corner piece. I'm going to cut these at an angle. And then I'm going to cut all of these. And I'm going to cut them at an angle when I cut them. It just helps the box fit together a little bit better. I started, when I started to make this project, it was going to be a bag, but then I put it together and I thought, well, that's not a bag, that's a box. And I made a lid for it. Isn't that funny how things happen like that? All right, so there we have it. We're going to put adhesive right here on this long strip. And I, oh, there's my fast fuse. I need to get rid of this fast fuse. Where did I put my other one? Um, I don't have anything in this box. Oh, good grief. My other fast fuse is sitting right here next to me. Um, but you could fill it with Hershey Kisses, with those Dove chocolates that are everywhere right now. Love those things. I can't buy them because then I will eat them. All right, let's see which side we want to be the front. This is that where the seam is, and so these both have clean edges. So I'm going to make this have a clean edge also. So that's going to be the last one I fold in. So I'm going to fold the side ones. And you could put adhesive on all of these if you want, but I am just going to do on the last two. There we go, and there is the bottom of our box. All right, now we're going to make the top, the little lid of our box. And I'm going to grab a couple of post-it notes. This creates just a very tiny, well, this post-it note is not sticky. That's not going to work. This creates kind of a little shim when you score something on all four sides. It's going to give it just a hair, hair's width bigger because of the, those post-it notes. So I think I have maybe three here. All right, here is soft suede. And it is four by four. We're going to score it at one inch on all four sides. Hi, everybody who's just joined. Good to see you. Oh, good. I didn't freeze up. Huh, who knows? Who knows? All right. So this is what we have. And we're going to just cut up and then over. Up and over okay we're going to do that on both opposite sides it doesn't matter which two sides as long as they are the opposite sides okay all right i'm going to put a little bit of fast fuse on each of these where that little triangle is going to fold into so it goes in and up and in. Well, I didn't burnish that one very good. And up. All right, and then that should fit. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew it was gonna fit. There you go. Cute, right? I love those two colors together. All right, so let's make the cute stuff on the top. Now, I told you this is a texture stamp, so it really is kind of like a background stamp. And I'm going to actually stamp off. Hmm. All right, let me clean that stamp. Now, I'm going to use powder pink 
for the little circle, but I'm gonna stamp off first because I want it to be kind of light. I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm gonna stamp on my scratch paper first and then over here like that. And then with the little dots, I think I'll let them be kind of darker. And it's just kind of creating a fun pattern. Okay, so let's punch that out with a two inch circle punch, just like that. And then I decided to add a couple of butterflies to the top and I wanted to kind of stick with that light kind of airy feel. So I'm just gonna cut them out of vellum. And this guy right here is persnickety. These two butterflies are in our butterfly framelits collection. And I'm gonna show you what I prefer to do and I didn't get it out. Let's see, I'm gonna use this one. What I prefer to do when I cut this little butterfly, I prefer to use a dryer sheet. Yes, good old fashioned dryer sheet. I just think when you're cutting something small like this with all these tiny pieces, that dryer sheet works great. And yes, we have a precision plate, plate that works great too. But I will say, I think my preference is still the, the dryer sheet and do I have my big shot brush here no I do not so we'll use the little scissors and our fingernails because I'm guessing a lot of you do that too now a lot of them did stick here to the to the dryer sheet when I'm cutting for a class that I send you guys in the mail and I have some like this I'll lay out a dryer sheet and the cardstock and I'll just cut and then I'll move the die cut over and cut and cut and cut and then I'll peel them all off the dryer sheet at once it makes it go a little bit faster when I have to do a bunch of them all right so I'm gonna fold them in half so he's kind of poking up and did I leave my yep here they are glue dots over on the other tray Hi everybody, thanks for joining. Glad you're here. Don't forget to get your project sheet over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and enter for the giveaway this week. It'll be Stampin' Blends. All right, so see how I did one on the bottom and one on the top, and I folded them in half first, and then I put a glue dot, so they kind of are sticking up. Pretty, huh? All right couple of dimensionals to go on the top and let's see where is the smooth edge where do we want to be the front okay let's see hmm. okay right there so I'm gonna have the butterfly facing this way and then I thought okay where do I put the sentiment I'm just gonna put it right here just on a straight piece of cardstock and I'm gonna use that flirty flamingo ink again and I'm gonna stamp it. Let's see if I can get it right. All right, good enough, good enough. And I'm gonna just cut it down to the width of the word and put it right there on the box. It fits right there perfectly. All right, and the last thing, of course, we need a bow. Yes, we always need a bow. It is painful for me to make something without a bow. This is the Crumb Cake um, Classic Weave Ribbon. Comes in, I think, three colors, and it is really soft and easy to, to tie. I do like this ribbon a lot. It's really our only brown ribbon besides copper, but it's a good neutral. Okay, there you go, you guys. Ta-da! Cute. That Remember, that stamp set is only available when you spend $50, and then you get them for free. So if you wanted to get those butterflies and um, maybe some adhesive, you could easily get that stamp, that, um, stamp set for free. All right. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you. I love them. Oh, I know. I hear people having a hard time with bows all the time. And really, you guys, it's just practice. Just practice, practice, practice. I know, I promise. I know you're probably rolling your eyes at me, but it's true. I mean, that's I tie bows all day long because this is my job all day long. I am constantly making things. Lucky me, right? But 
tying bows it's just part of the job okay so now this fun card was an accident I was actually making this other card that I'm going to show you that was going to be the project for today and then I was like okay that has to be a pie so I did it in wisteria wonder and I put on this card and I thought that's a purple pie right you guys it's a purple pie and I thought okay I had to like throw it to the side and immediately make an apple pie so this is the basket weave embossing folder and this is actually a bundle it comes with this super adorable stamp set right here that is great to use with your blends or your watercolor pencils um, and they come together as a bundle and they are free with a hundred dollar purchase. Um, one thing they have told us is that this embossing folder will most likely be in the new annual catalog. So it'll stick around for a while. I have a feeling it is going to be extremely popular. Okay. So there was version one, but it was quickly abandoned for version two. Now, before I make version two, let me show you some other things. This is a case from oh, another demonstrator and now I'm, I'm totally blanking on her name but it was beautiful I mean I cased it exactly like she did it um, isn't that beautiful that's that basket weave and look how it's dark there I'm going to show you how to do that today on this apple pie I did that too with this one it's kind of harder to tell um, but you can add some dimension make it really um, pop when you add some some ink to it but that stamp is fun if you like to color this is a great great stamp here's the first one that I made um, flirty flamingo again and this time I used um, watercolor pencils this one is blends this one is watercolor pencils two different looks this one's much softer and this one's much bolder and then here's one this is a case straight from the catalog and let me tell you these take a while <laughs> they actually in the catalog had I think four sets of these flowers that they cut off those baskets and I was like we're just gonna do two because it took me about I don't know 20 minutes to color those flowers it was a long time it was fun though fussy cutting lots of fussy cutting but this is one of the sentiments from the stamp set okay so let's make the apple pie because it's so super cute here is the embossing folder it is one of our thicker they call it dynamic embossing dynamic texture embossing folder and it's extra thick so when you use it in your big shot you only use one um plate i'm i'm sorry i'm distracted by your comments no there is not a die for that basket it's fussy cut i, I know um anyway this is so it's really thick and it, that's why it gives so much texture. Now, to in order to um, make that, to get that ink on it, you can use, this is called, oh, and I just set it down on my card. This is called a foam brayer. And they are disposable. You can get them um, in the catalog. I think I added it on here. Did I add it on the list? A sponge brayer. And it's $8 for two of them. And then, so you can just put it in a baggie and write, okay, crumb cake, and then you can reuse it. Um, but, but you can't, I mean, I guess you could wash it if you wanted to wash it. But let's be real, I'm way too lazy for that. <laughs> I'm gonna just buy them. All right, so I'm gonna run it in my crumb cake. And I'm gonna ink the side that is going to be um, depressed it goes down because that's the cardstock will pop that way so I'm just gonna run some ink on here and um, you know you can play around with it to see how much or how little ink you want to use and then you're gonna just lay your cardstock right in there and get your big shot and you gotta use you can't use your magnetic platform you have to switch over to your regular Big Shot platform and you put this right on the bottom of your Big Shot platform and you cover it with just one plate and we're going to go through it's very easy and then there you go I hope you guys can see it, it's, it doesn't stand out as much as the, the white but it looks cooked like it's been in the oven so fun. Oh wait, come back. I have to use you again. Now we got to make the circle. So we're going to go back to the magnetic platform and bring back that other clear plate. 
and it's really it seems darker over here in this corner oops you guys can't see it seems darker over here so I'm gonna put my circle here this is a stitched shapes circle framelit and it's the largest one out of the four and there's our pie. Now, it would be cute if you just left it like that, but it's even cuter when you add it to a scalloped circle. That's crumb cake also. So I'm gonna use some Fast Fuse, put it down on there, and now we can put our card together. This is a really easy card. There is a tiny little bit of fussy cutting in a minute, but it's not too bad. All right, this is Early Espresso, and I've gone back to the stamp set we used last week, Fruit Basket, You Are the Sweetest. I think that's pretty much the perfect stamp for this. And I'm going to do an Early Espresso down here in the corner. Okay, and then I'm going to put this piece. I know, Patty. Hi, Patty. I can smell it, too. I know. I'm gonna put it on a piece of early espresso cardstock. Then I'm gonna take, oh, good grief. I didn't pull out my linen thread, I thought I did. Okay, hold on, you guys. Hold on for just a second. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. I did pull it out, it just got lost. All right, this is the linen thread. And I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times on this side. I'm going to kind of try to crisscross it a little bit. Let's see, that one needs to stay up there. Got to leave a long piece at the top so you can tie your bow. Oh, all right, start over. Pull that one up. Is that enough? Nope. All right, let's just kind of cross over a couple of times. And then we'll tie a bow right here. So I wrapped it three times. There we go, and I'm gonna straighten that out. Cut that off. And I'm gonna put this on here with dimensionals. This is a real red card base. Four dimensionals. One for each corner. Don't you love dimensionals? I sure do. All right, right in the center. Now, if you want the measurements, remember all this is going to be over on those project sheets on my blog. Hi, Janie. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yes, I know. Where's the framelit? I'll put it away safely. You guys know me too well. I won't tell you what framelit I have discovered is missing. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny one, but still. I know. I will put my framelits away safely, I promise. Okay, so there we go. So cute. Isn't it so cute? Now wait. We have to make it an apple pie. So pull out some of your, your Tutti Frutti Designer Series paper. Put on your glasses if you need to. And get your tiniest scissors. And just cut out a couple of apples because it has to be done, guys. We can't, we can't have this apple pie without apples. Now, it could be a strawberry pie, and you can just stamp those strawberries and punch them, right, with a punch. What else do we have, watermelon? I don't think there's a watermelon pie. What about pear? There's a pear punch. Would you make a pie out of pear? That's pretty similar to apple, although I don't think I've ever heard of it. And I did even cut around the, oh, I'm out of the frame, I'm sorry. I did cut around that stem on the first one, but I'm not doing that over here. All right, so you can either use your tiny, um, your tiny, what are they called? Dimensionals or your glue dots. And there it is. Mm, can you smell it? Pear pie is delicious. Really? It's a real thing? Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. I lost a small oval one. Oh, Carol, you did. Yeah, I know. I have emptied my garbage can more times than I want to admit looking for a framelit. 
I know, I know, it's the worst, it's the worst. Okay, you guys, so there we have our projects this week. We have the apple pie card, we have the cute little box, and the little pillow box. Remember, all of these projects <coughs> feature new items from the Celebration second release. These are available from February 16th to March 31st, and they have said while supplies last, although I don't see it in here. Does it maybe say on the back? You guys know last year we had um, this glimmer paper that came out in the second release, and it was gone like that. So... If you want one of these, the stamps they make in-house, so that's not going to be a problem. I have a feeling if anything runs out, it would be that, that beautiful paper. Um, so if you want it, don't, don't wait too long. Um, we won't mention the fast few sale. Um, <laughs> um, and remember, use the hostess code, and I will send you all three make and takes um, on Tuesday. Here come the dogs to say hello. I was thinking we were going to get on without them. Um, I will send you the make and takes next week, probably on Tuesday. All right, if you have questions, make sure to message me or email me and hop over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and print out the project sheet or save it and enter for the giveaways. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend, and um, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.